Peer, um, P-E-R, I, I, I apologize. Uh, it, he's in Denmark, and I'm sure it's not per. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I apologize. Anyway, hi, Paul. Hey, if I understand you right in one of your videos, oh boy, here we go. You answered a question about volume controls, that you can control the level at both your streamer and your amplifier, and you recommended to turn the volume up at the amp and then reduce the sound on the streamer. Indeed, I did. My question is, if I do that on my Class AB amplifier, will I not lose the benefits from Class A's, uh, the Class A function? If I understand it correctly, Class AB is a Class A at low volume and B at the high volume. Hope my question makes sense. Yeah, it does, and it points to this misunderstanding that is so prevalent in our industry. It's, you know, one of the reasons I do these videos is an attempt to try and help people through the maze of all this technical babble, right? And most people, like Per, they get it. They, they truly get the science. It's just so much of it gets confusing that it's, it's hard to keep all of it straight, which is shameless plug. I am just finishing book nine of a 10 book set, The Audiophiles Guide. And one of the things I wanted to do in The Audiophiles Guide, which I hope will be out here at the end of December, maybe January 2025, is in simple terms, not like a lecture, but in story, because I believe we learn by story and just plain talk like we do here in our videos, I think that's how people learn. I, I mean, <laughs> I remember going to school and my instructors in school were about as interesting as watching paint dry. I mean, it was like, stuff your head full of this. Not going to tell you what to do with it. Anyway, I just, yeah, 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 I'm going to start going off on an education system here, which is horrible. But in any case, uh, I'm going to finish these books up and, and it'll help explain all of this stuff and be a reference that you can go back to and look at it. So kind of exciting. Anyway, so you got most of it right. And yes, low level signals are being handled by the class A bias of your amplifier. And as the signals get louder, they go out of the class A mode and they go into class B mode. So what does that all mean? Class A means that your amplifying devices are constantly drawing current, okay? Class B means that they're only drawing current when, the sig when there's signal. So it follow as the signal gets higher, it draws more current. As it gets lower, it draws less current. In a class A circuit, the amount of current, the, the power coming in that, that, that's making heat in your amplifier is constant. So regardless of the signal, the amount of power being used to heat those transistors is, is constant. And that's why Class A amplifiers are very hot. And it, it's hard in these little videos to try and show you all of that and explain it. But in direct answer to your question, no, don't worry about it. The level that you listen to is going to be identical regardless of where in the chain the volume is controlled. So when you turn on a piece of music, you're going to hear a certain level of play of that music, right? You're, you've got uh, Nora Jones playing and you're going to turn up the volume one way or the other to get old Nora to start singing so she sounds like she's in the room. Your amplifier doesn't have a freaking clue where the volume is being controlled from. So as Nora starts to sing, the very low, if it's a real soft passage, that's going to be in your class A range. And as the passage gets louder, it's going to go out of that. But where you control the volume, whether it's in the preamp, the streamer, or the, the power amplifier's input, doesn't matter. This or this equals this.
regardless of where you do it. So this was just advice of my preference of where in the, the, the chain to make this seesaw thing of volume work. So hope that wasn't too convoluted. Hope it helps.